Hey guys, so I've uh, been asked a lot recently how I paint my Scotty Cameron uh, putters. So I just thought I'd make a quick video just to show you know what kind of paints I use, uh, the processes I go through, and you know um, any tips and tricks that I might have for you guys to make it easier for you. So I just picked up this uh, new uh, Scotty Cameron Golo 5, and uh, I take off as much as I can just so I can lie it uh, flat on the table. Uh, it makes it easier and you can kind of, you know, paint in one step instead of having to, uh, you know, paint one side of the putter, let it dry, and then go to the next side of the putter, whatever it may be. So here I'm just using a uh, wrench to take off the uh, weights. Uh, I just picked this up on eBay and, uh, you know, it wasn't even that much. I, I don't actually remember how much, but uh, I'll see if I can find a link or something. I'll post in the description. Um, I picked up this uh, paint stripper uh, from this a Walmart, a local you know, a superstore here in Canada, and this process is definitely the most important. Uh, you know, the the paint stripper is not going to take off all of the paint for you, so just make sure you keep on going back, going back, and taking off as much as you possibly can. Um, you know, you'll see the paint slowly coming off on the weights and and the uh, metal uh, panel there, they, the paint comes off fairly easily, but uh, on the actual putter head, it does take a little bit of time uh, to take off. But uh, you know, just take your time. Uh, this is definitely the most important part because the cleaner it is, the better your final job will be. And it does look a lot better. Um, yeah, so here's just a finish uh, after stripping the paint. Uh, one thing I did find is if you squeeze the bottle as you are, you know, putting it together, you have a lot more control with the speed of the paint coming out of the nozzle. Now, I bought this paint uh, needle dispenser, or whatever you want to call it, at our uh, at a local hobby store here, and uh, I'm not actually sure on the tip size, but I'll make sure to measure it and post it in the description below there. But um, this part, it's not crucial that you are extremely accurate or anything, but, uh, you know, the more precise you are and the neater it is now, the less cleanup you have to do and the, you know, the better, uh, the nicer job you uh, are going to, you know, have in the end. So, you know, so I do take my time. I'm going to speed up the video here in a sec, but I uh, just want to kind of show you what I do. I go around the edges as much as I can. I uh, try not to make the paint too thick because then it just takes a lot, a long, long time to dry. But uh, yeah, so just uh, be as careful as you can uh, with those circle dots in the back of the powder. Uh, make sure you are precise because I haven't found a way to really wipe it. So I just make sure that the paint is kind of uh, runs and uh, dries perfectly flat there. But uh, no, it's, it's not actually that hard. Uh, from start to finish, it probably takes me about two hours to finish a putter. And I have done a handful of these before, so it just keeps getting easier and easier. Just make sure you use uh, acetone to clean the tip between uh, color changes, or else uh, you know, you're going to have a lot of paint bleeding and stuff. And, Best case scenario, you have a couple of tips, but uh, I mean, they do cost uh, 10, 20 bucks or so, so it is a lot cheaper to uh, to keep them uh, clean. And uh, here's just the finished product. Uh, you know, it turns out pretty nice most of the time, and it saves you money having to send it to Scotty. Right, thanks for watching.